All right, so this morning I was asked, have you heard of the rapture? And of course, uh, you know, that's a great question. Uh, the, the rapture is the gathering of the elect at the end of the world, which is judgment day and the great day of the Lord. Now let me show you uh, some verses that support this, that establish this. All right, in Matthew 24, verse 31, and it says, And he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds and from one end of heaven to the other. Of course, one uh, significant sign, if you will, of the end of the world is when the sun is darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken now when this happens it's the end of the world it's like the buzzer going off there is no more time if you're not saved the moment this begins to happen you will never be saved and that's important to understand mark 13 uh, verse 27 and then shall he send his angels and shall gather together his elect all right so again this is in reference to the end of the world we are gathered together we are lifted up in the air all right and also in Luke 21 and when these things begin to pass then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draws nigh all right, we're going to be lifted up in the air to be with the Lord. First, that's First Thessalonians four, verse uh, sixteen and seventeen. For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord so we are caught up together we are gathered together we are caught up together to be with the Lord up in the air again in 1st Corinthians 15 uh, behold I show you a mystery we shall not all sleep but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed for this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality all right so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And then let me scroll back up here a little bit. In 1 Corinthians 15, every man after his own order, Christ the first fruit, so he has led the way for us. He has died, defeated death, rose from the grave and ascended to heaven and has promised to return for us afterward they that are Christ at his coming so Christ first and then uh, us after which is at the end of the world then cometh the end when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to God even the Father when he shall put down all rule and all authority and power for he must reign till he has put all enemies under his feet now this is very important because this goes all the way back to Genesis 3. Okay, the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. And what does Genesis 3.15 say? And I will put enmity between thee. Now this is God speaking to the serpent. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman. And between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head. And thou shalt bruise his heel. Alright, so... This is the difference between the saved and the unsaved, right? The seed of the serpent is the unsaved, and the seed of the woman is the saved, all right? Because first was made man, and then from man was made woman, and then from woman 
was made man, the man Christ, the Lord, and the Savior of the world. All right, and the seed of the woman is Christ. And if you be Christ, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. This is all going to be fulfilled at the end of the world. And let me bring you back to one last parable in Matthew 13. The parable of the wheat and the tares. And the harvest is the end of the world. And the reapers are the angels. That's when the angels gather together the elect. We're lifted up in the air to be with the Lord. Our enemy is gathered at our feet and fire comes down from heaven and destroys them all. The end of the world is when we are gathered up. That is the rapture. So it's a great question. Have you heard of the rapture? Yeah, I've, I've heard of the rapture. It's all throughout the Bible. It's going to happen. And it might happen sooner than you realize. Good day.